chilling in the diva den from 6 to 10 and you know how we turn up every monday for kiki commentary on my favorite favorite show love and hip-hop atlanta last week i was chatting with mimi and you know i kicked it with my girl rashida not too long ago tonight i got a real special guest he been turning up on the show you may know him from d entertainment also rashida's I mean, husband. Uh, I got Kurt. What's up, boy? What's up? What's up? What's going on? Oh, a little bit of everything. How you doing? I'm great, man. I'm hanging in here. You know, <laughs> trying to keep everything on the up and up. Mm, is that what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, look, I'm under. They got me under fire right now. Everybody going at me. Oh. You know and you know, I'm sitting in a, this is called the DVD, and I'm sitting in a room full of angry black women, so you better get ready. As long as they're not angry at me, <laughs> I ain't done nothing to them. Let me just kick it off first. I just want to ask, like, you and Rashida were, I mean, y'all were big in the South, and she's been kicking it down there and doing her thing for a long time. Why did you guys choose love and hip hop? Uh, actually, that was something that Rashida that, that opportunity came to Rashida. That was more of a Rashida opportunity. And then with me being, I guess, the label and the husband, I got drugged into it. <laughs> I mean, wasn't I, that wasn't on my agenda at all. Okay. I was going to ask because I'm like, you've always been behind the scenes. And um, you, I mean, what made you want to be in front of the cameras? Like, how did they convince you to do that? Nothing really made me want to be in front of the cameras. Actually, I was a little against it. I mean, to be honest, it took me a minute to get into it, you know. But again, I know Rashida's been working hard for a long time. So when that opportunity came, it didn't come... You know, it didn't come with Rashida coming alone. That, right. That was that was just the key to it. It wasn't it wasn't gonna be Rashida. You can do this on your own. So again, I know how hard she's worked, and it, and again, it's all about the exposure. You know, the platform that it could provide. I mean, we didn't know that Loving Hip Hop Atlanta would be number one, but I mean, we figured it would definitely open up doors to the world. So you know, I told her, I'm I, I'm down. I'll do it with you. But, you know, I ain't, Rashida personality pops in any situation. I just, you know, I'm Kirk. I don't really, I'm not looking to be, that just ain't my character. So I was just letting them know, like, you know, you're going to get me where right. I am. I'm not going to be, you know, I don't do all that extra. And, and again, like, if you, if you look at season one, I mean, most of the time when me and Rashida pretty much do what we do on the regular, you know, I, I'm always twisting Rashida arm to get her to do things. And, mm -hmm. You know, and she don't want to do them and some things she want to do. But, again, I sat back so much in the first season, you know, I was constantly under fire then. I was too, you know, you let your woman talk to you any kind of way. And right. You must be soft or you must be gay. Right. What man let a woman talk to him like that? The crazy part is everybody got something to say, whether you in the positive light, doing the best thing possible for your girl, or if you if you breathing down their back to, to push them in the right way no matter what you're not gonna win it's, it's gonna be opinion thrown at you no matter what so it's kind of like you damned if you do and you damned if you don't you, you you definitely damned if you do damn if you don't because i mean again i i'm looking for what happened to my supporters from the first season why wasn't they cherry <laughs> kirk in the first season i ain't get i'm i'm blown away now because it's like Wow, my interviews are seven email pages long. I, I, I mean, I can. Be, I mean, it's so different to being. It, it's bugging me out because it show. It just goes to show you that the world is really negative. Because if you run that route, this is what they want to hear. If you be the good guy, they don't want to see that. Yeah, that's, that's true. Sad, but it's real. But it is real. Um, let's get into the show because you know this is my favorite show on TV right now, and to us. Do it. <laughs> To us at home, the viewer, it looks like you completely flipped since last season, like did a whole change. Why is that? It's not It's not even that I flipped. Basically, last year, I just held my tongue more instead of just verbally saying what I really felt. I mean, you know, mm. what you really seeing is a, is a tug of war. Again, Rashida's a, her own person. You know, Kirk is his own person, and then you got Rashida the artist, and you got me as the business, the label. So, again, I try to tell Rashida there's a lot of things she should do as an artist for the label and stop taking it so personal. So, mm -hmm. there's, that, there's a lot of conflict there, you know. And, again, 
we just opened the doors up and let the cameras see what really goes on because I felt like, you know, last year y'all got to touch on it and y'all still ain't seen a lot. It's, it's kids involved in this. It's grandkids. I got, I got, I got four other kids, so mm. I got two grandkids, and, and Rashida is there for them. But there's a whole lot of stuff that y'all haven't seen. Mm -hmm. But this year, just a step forward into our relationship a little more. We opened up the doors. We're a little more free with what's going on with one another. And I just think y'all seeing a different light because we just said, to be honest, we just said, fuck it, open the door. Wow. I mean, if you, I mean, it's been some crazy scenes this season with you telling her that she needs to get an abortion and et cetera. Like, if you could go back and just redo one thing from this season so far, what would it be? Uh, I don't really know. I don't want to say if I could go back and redo it because it's done now. But I, when I have took a different approach, once it hit the air and you start to feel all of this, you know, so many people being angry. I guess I would take a different approach. but Damn, Kurt. So you were only changing because we mad at you? You wouldn't change it? You wouldn't take back saying that to your wife, man? It's, uh, you have, you, you, you've you never got into an argument with your boyfriend? And you know, I you definitely know. have, and I say some crazy shit. Yeah. I ain't even going to lie. That's what I'm <laughs> See, that's the thing. Everybody is acting like you don't say crazy things when you argue. We was both saying hurtful things to each other. Chose to show y'all guess the most hurtful ones are the ones that they felt like it's going to get the most viewers, but we both was going at it. Mm. I mean, we was going at it so bad at one time, we both was just like out. Like, you go wow. out going at it. You know, so, you know, it is what it is at this point. It's like, mm. you know, it's built milk, but it happened. Right. We're going to see on the next episode, um, you attended a pool party hosted by, I call him a creep. I don't know, that's your boy, but Benzino just seemed a little creepy to me. <laughs> And it was some real inappropriate pictures that surfaced online, Kurt. It was you and a chick. She well, was posing. Looked like she was grabbing your hot pocket. I mean, who is that girl? I ain't got no hot pocket. I got sausage. Oh, uh, okay. My bad. Your sausage. Who is that you know, chick? So, I don't even know the chick. That was actually a, a pool party. <laughs> You're so I, I'm going to be honest. I don't even, I don't know her. It was like. OMG. The, the, way, that, the way that happened. That was a pool party, and it's another pool party that, that that's supposed to go down, and I'm I'm opting not to even host it mm. because it's just like I don't want to be known, and then girls think, hey, you host the pool party, and it gets wild. But you know, you catch a couple of drinks, and you catch a couple of girls saying, well, hey, I I love Rashida, but I mean, you free, so oh you know, my god, I was I was really trying to get out of there when that picture happened. I was leaving, and it was like I was in a I was. It, it sounds crazy, but I was actually spinning around in another direction, trying not to, and it was just cameras everywhere. Everybody snapping in, and they just kind of got the picture. I don't even know the chick name. You know, I wasn't messing with that chick. It, it just mm, looked bad, mm, and it mm, was bad. Mm. I know it looked bad, but... Kurt, Kurt, well. Kurt, you have got to do better. If the roles were reversed, no. and it was Rashida, and she got caught, whatever dude had his hand on her hot pocket. No, they, they, she wasn't touching. She wasn't touching my joint. Period. It don't matter. It looked like it. it. It looked like it, but she wasn't. I'm oh you, Lord, wasn't. Kurt, you sound like my ex. <laughs> See, and then that's the point. Is, 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 am I a little too real for them? Can they not take me? Just I think you me? are too real. Oh my God. Like I, I don't want to make it where I say, like, "Yo, it was yo." I mean, <laughs> was she touching? If she was touching it, I'll be honest. She was. She. You know, it, cause it, to be honest with you, it's more that happened than that. So for somebody just to touch me, that's small to what's about to happen. Oh so I my god! Hold back. What's about to happen? Oh, uh, Kurt! I, oh damn, Kurt! Okay, you wore a shirt <laughs> last weekend to the Atlanta Car and Bike Show that said "Almost Single." We are definitely not slow. So I mean, we can assume you and Rashida are separated. But after 13 uh -huh. years, no. Let me tell you this, that shirt, I didn't wear it. I, ha I had those shirts because everybody wanted them. I wore that shirt a while ago. And what happened was we started getting a whole bunch of emails into my email saying, yo, where I can get that shirt from? I, I don't have a website like Rashida. So I just I just did some up and I just gave them away. Oh my God, Kurt, you, you are something else. So I'm a, a businessman, though. So the girl wasn't touching your junk. It just looked like she was touching your junk. You weren't wearing the shirt. You was giving the shirt away, and they just caught you with it in the picture. 
No, no, I did wear the almost single shirt prior to that. Oh, okay. The ones that I had at the car show were ones that I was giving away to people who wanted them. I had a whole bunch of them that I just gave away at the car show. Oh, mm, okay. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. You must know my ex. So, speaking of cars and bikes... On the show, we see you complain about Rashida spending money on videos and photo shoots, but you stay Instagramming some hot cars and bikes. I mean, viewers feel like you being a little unfair. Like, why is it cool for you to buy new toys, but you tripping on her for spending money trying to build her brand? Because me, me and Rashida, or the thing about it was, I'm, I'm not tripping on Rashida spending money. It's just the time of that she's spending the money. Like... You know, Rashida wanted to prove a point to me at the wrong time. I felt like she inappropriately spent that type of money on that video. I felt like she could have waited to after the baby. Yeah, because that you know, video, and, I mean, the outfit was hot, but the video was all wrong. I ain't even going to lie. And, and I mean, and she spent a lot of money on that video. She went and hired Fat Cat. I mean, she went and hired, <laughs> I mean, she went and hired the top people, stylists, dancers. I mean, she went ham on the checkbook while we were... And, I mean, she really did it out of anger, and she's pregnant, and she's emotional, and I was like, but you still hurt both of us. Mm. It's not that I, 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 I mean, Rashida is a Louboutin, and these pocketbooks, and it's, she got a lot of stuff that she buys. Mm -hmm. But my thing was, why did you take it out of the business checking account? Why didn't you take that out of your money? You felt strong enough to feel that you should do it. You shouldn't have took it out of the, the money that, that, you know, I, that we work together like. As an artist, Rashida does get paid. Right. You know, as a label, I do get paid. I mean, a lot of people be like, oh, Rashida makes those, Rashida this and Rashida that, and the one for Rashida. No, I'm the one who, and I'm going to say, teamly, yes, we teamly work together and mm -hmm. other people with, that work with us. But D Lo is my label. Like, I'm the one who spent the money on Rashida's career when she was in the capers, when she decided to go solo, <laughs> every video, every year. I mean, in the publishing, you know, D Lo. Rashida is entitled to a lot because she's the wife, but mm -hmm. again, I took personal money to start this company, and I took personal money and put into these videos, so once you start to accumulate a lot of money, me and Rashida pay is night and day as a label. How you doing? You know, your money is, you know, 80% more than the artist, right. if not more. So our money is never compared, can ever be compared. So a lot of people don't understand why why Kirk may have more money than Rashida's because I'm a label and now I do the publishing deals and I do everything. So, you know, now Rashida does make a mint on the road, you know, so people just look into it like it's Rashida money. She should spend it. Rashida has always gotten a check from day one. And one thing she learned and liked about this situation is getting a check twice a month getting a publishing check every three months. I don't mm -hmm. think that she would ever go any other route unless they left her the freedom to continue to make the money she's making now. And who would do that? True. Hmm. You know, so. Well, from what we've seen, Rashida has held it together so far on the show. Um, mm -hmm. But lately, I've been seeing on Instagram, she's been hitting you with little digs here and there. Like, one about you not answering the phone for your son. Like, if the personal relationships... My, Go ahead. And, and here's the thing. My phone... I'm on... The phone was dead. I posted a picture 30 minutes before that in route to pick him up. Kurt, you him are him. just... You always got an excuse. Yo, the phone lie, was dead. <laughs> I, yeah, I got an iPhone. Me too. I got another car without without a charger. The phone died. I was already in route. I mean, I had a good <laughs> an hour after that. I mean, and she was just you. you see, y'all got to understand. Nobody want to hear. Rashida is emotional right now. She's blowing shit up for no reason. And to me, I, it pisses me off because it's like you keep doing small things, but it's you know you start that's starting to piss me off and, and again in real mm -hmm. life i'm starting to get mad <laughs> chill out like if the personal relationship between y'all stays in the place it is at right now do you think that you guys will be able to continue on business wise we have no choice i, I know we will we we make uh, do you want me to say it? we make too much money together rashida is not dumb i'm not dumb we know what's best for us rashida is a brand in a business and d-lo is a brand in a business there's no way we would ever stop doing that i don't see it mm. okay so you wouldn't be ever willing to just walk away and let somebody like deb take over Deb could take over you still talking two different things rashida i don't the, the management side of rashida is not what i jump up and down about i jump up and down about 
the music sales, the ringtones, and and things of that nature. Like management is cool, running on the road, making that money is a great thing. But I make a lot more money selling ringtones. Right. You know, and and marry me is a little over two hundred and sixty some thousand sold since last year. Rashida can say what she wants, but Marry Me has her nominated for Best Female Hip Hop at the BET Awards. I mean, she can take her jab and say what she wants, but she'll be at the BET Awards this weekend, thanks to who? Once again, it's not, it's a, it's, she was the first, number one, she was the first independent artist ever to be nominated for Best Female Hip Hop. But, you know, she don't, she don't look at it like that. She thinks, well, my record ain't playing all over the radio, but I'm selling a lot of records, but I want more. Yes, who wouldn't want more? Right. But you got to you gotta stay within budget. If you spend the way Rashida spends on herself, <laughs> we would never, an album would never be at a profit. You do this, see, I do it for a profit at this point. I don't do it for, for, for how big or how much radio play I can get. I do it for money. I do it to pay the bills. So I'm different than Rashida. Mm. Okay. Well, I heard that y'all are having a boy. So, do y'all have any names picked out? I don't know what we having at this point. Speculate. He I mean, said, I "Damn, know. I don't even know what I'm having." Uh, yeah. Well, Kurt, before I let you go, can you just tell us one thing we would be surprised to know about you? Um, one thing you'd be surprised. I mean, I don't know. I'm a really. I, to me, I'm a really nice guy. People <laughs> think I'm an asshole, but I'm really a nice guy. We know you a nice guy. We saw the night. We saw the real nice guy last season. I don't know where he went. I can't wait for him to come back, Kurt. I mean, he's in there, but uh, it is a business, and I am I got to make sure I run the business. You know, people look at things and just think, you know, do what you want. Now, when you see, here's another thing. You'll see us move into a new artist. I guarantee you Rashida won't be running to spend money on them the way she's spending on herself. That that's, My whole take is she do it because it's her. Mm -hmm. Let it be another artist. This stuff would never, ever happen. And, you know, and, and us having all the qualities that we have, yeah, pushed us a little far apart. And, you know, we'll be, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, we'll, we'll be friends and we'll make our business happen. You know, that's just part of the game. Wow. Well, we wish you the best. And we are definitely rooting for y'all to get it together because we really like seeing that old Kurt just supporting his woman and making the business happen. And we don't want you to end up like Benzino, you know, old and creepy. Uh, so that's not going to happen. I mean, it's definitely not going to happen. I mean, Benzino's a cool dude, but I mean, I, me and Benzino, two different type of cats, you know. The thing for me is to learn how to deal with this new Twitter and Instagram and people just say crazy things to you that you'd never see them in your life or they sitting in a corner somewhere but they got enough balls <laughs> to tweet it to you <laughs> <laughs> you know so it to me where i come from that would never happen but one thing about it is i'm a businessman and i realize you know what hey it's a different world it's a different game and this is how i rock right now so get used to it and that's what that's what i'm trying to learn how to do so that's what's different for me so you know and me being in this place i am right now I can't be mad at it because I could be somewhere else. I've seen a lot of cats come and go and go to jail and, you know, lose their life behind being a street guy. So I just feel like I'm on a blessed platform regardless to where I go from here. You got to look at it that way. But we're still rooting for y'all to get it together. Our 13 years, Kurt, don't let this, this show. We're get it together. Yeah, not, don't let this show. Don't let I'm these Twitter surprised. followers. Don't let these hoes hype your head up. You got a good woman, man. Man, that stuff is, you know, you know, you, you know, most people see, if you pay attention, Rashida told me, bye. Well, that's you know, what we do when we pissed. We don't have nothing else to say. See, one thing about it is I got to show her, don't just take me for granted. Stop acting like I don't mean shit. You know, you got to sometimes not always just be Mr. Nice Guy. You talk to me any way you want to and get out in front of a lot of people and embarrass me. And, you know, I, I have feelings, too. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult thing, but you know, she is a good person. She yeah. got a smart mouth, really, in real life. She really does. <laughs> well, Kurt, thank you so much for checking in with us, man. You know, we're going to be watching you every Monday. Try to be the nice guy, Kurt. Leave that shit to Stevie it's and, and coming, Benzina. <laughs> it's coming, but, but keep in mind, Rashida told me, do me. Oh, uh, Lord. You got to get over it. Some things that y'all going to have to get over. Man. Right I now. All right. Well, have your fun. Just don't be like Benzino. Never. <laughs> Thanks, Kurt.